Disney wants to make more woke films that tank at the box office, they're more than welcome to do that. But maybe think of an original idea. Maybe not destroy a classic from my childhood and put an actress in there that not only hates the plot and the storyline of the movie she's in, but also seemingly hates Snow White, the character herself. I mean, that's one interview clip that you read the quote from, but she's gone on to talk about this film numerous times, how she once thought Snow White was creepy, she doesn't like the prince, she thinks she should get paid more because she has to wear that dress, she should get paid for streaming for every hour she has to wear the dress. I mean, talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Not only are you being casted in a classic film to remake it, but you don't seemingly like your own character. So she comes off as an insufferable, whiny brat, and that's why people are so annoyed beyond just them inserting feminism. I think we expect that at this point, but why do you have to mess with a classic, especially with someone who doesn't even seem to like her own character? I think it's absolute fucking garbage. Are you talking about something else? No, I'm talking about Snow White. The funny thing is, I only watched like two minutes of the cartoon 20 years ago, and I ended up taking a hammer and breaking my TV because I thought it was so awful. So does she have a love interest in this movie? Hell no. This is in 1937, and we're not in a Taylor Swift love song. There is no love story. She's an independent female lead. She ends up joining a pyramid scheme, and she becomes the world's biggest fucking girl boss. We're going to be playing Disney's live-action Hercules. What can you tell us about the story? Yeah, so I, I just want to start off by addressing that this is not going to be a perfect adaptation of that dated 90s movie. This is a modern-day 2023 Hercules. So what changes can we expect? Well, firstly, there's going to be no change in my physical appearance. You know, 90s Disney had a bad habit of pushing these unrealistic body image expectations. The big reason why I chose to take up this role is to push back on those archaic fitness standards. Can you explain why the actor who will be portraying Hades hasn't been announced? What do you mean? Greek god and main antagonist Hades? Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, Hades, Hades, yeah, he's not going to be in this movie. We wanted to establish a standard of inclusivity so there won't be any gods, per se, in this Hercules. Instead, he's going to be taking on physical manifestations of racism, sexism, patriarchy, and his own bisexual demons. One of the most beloved inclusions in the original was the narration mm. sung beautifully by the muses. How much mm. will they factor into the live-action adaptation? Yeah, yeah, okay, so there's going to be no black women in this movie. But you and many other bigots call beloved, I call disgusting. The blatant approach appropriation of gospel style demonic rhythmics without addressing the harsh realities that black women in the 90s faced it's downright sickening for all the black women watching understand this i stand with you my sisters you heard thank you the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. Cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. How would you even waste your time wanting to take this role if this is the attitude you're going to have towards doing this role? It makes absolutely no sense. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> and very evidently so. It's Hollywood, baby. If I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super Original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. Snow White ride at Disneyland? I get stopped for photos every time I'm online for the Snow White ride and it is the I have to pretend like oh god oh, well crazy that we're in front of this wait how often are you in line for the Snow White ride I hope no one because every time they come up to me I'm always online for this freaking ride and they, they think I'm it's like I'm standing there waiting for the photo op being like I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this. Film. 
really trying to figure out how they done the casting for this role because it seems like she just hates Snow White. You might as well just chose a completely different movie to act in if you're going to hate the character this much. What I will never accept is that your generation want to trash everything that's classic. And what they do and they, they pretend that this is all for female progress and whatever and what they do is they actually end up erasing women. We saw this with the remake of Mulan. Apparently Prince Charming uh, is, is a demonstration of true love on the one hand or he's a creepy stalker. If he hadn't kissed her she'd still be dead Ernest. Snow White wouldn't be alive. Life. It's time to reimagine what consent looks like in films in 2023. Period. Period. Realize that, just out of curiosity. Uh, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male, and the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis. Anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yanka That Guy, and I am out.